Hey, hey, y'all. Today is October 22nd, 2019. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Click the bell, unclick the bell. This video is a tribute to my little cousin, Junior. He was killed in a car crash today, and um, it's like really tragic because he was only 17 years old. Candles, balloons, and memories filled the street where that crash happened. The victim was the second teen killed in a two-day period last week. Tonight, News Force Jackie Benson spoke with his family, who remembered the teenager known for his ruddy smile and his love of music. Let me get into my tribute to my little cousin. So, um, I wanted to start off with uh, a poem that I wrote for him today, and um, just bear with me. I'm gonna try to get through this. I just want y'all to pray for me and um, like really be there for me. The name of the poem that I wrote is "Gone Too Soon." My last talk to Junior. It's to you, Junior. So here's to you. I <sighs> um, wish I could remember it like verbatim, but I can't. Good morning, little cuzzo. Yo, let me tell you about this dream I had. I received the call this morning and it left me shocked and so sad. I was told that you were gone and not coming back. I was like, bruh, whoa, what the heck was that? I physically tried to wake myself up I even gave myself a hard smack. Now I'm in hurt for real, but my concern was how I was starting to feel. I tried my best to shake it off and consider it a non-reality. When in truth, there really was a vehicle fatality. It was you. Are you really gone? My silly little cousin, Junior. My only regret is that I could have spent more time with you sooner. I miss you already, and I hate the fact that you had to go. You brought so much love, life, laughter, and kindness to the family, and that's the only you I know. Yeah, you were only 17 and my little cousin, but so many times I saw you as my little bro. I'm so very sorry that you are gone from us today. I feel empty and lost, but I have faith that I'll find my way. Your precious life ended way too soon. So on this day, I'm filled with so much gloom. I'll claim tonight that my sleep is peaceful. <laughs> because I find real comfort Knowing you'll always be watching me from the moon. Rest in paradise, little cousin Junior. <laughs> um, yeah. Part of that probably wasn't understandable, so we'll see about that. Doesn't matter, I'm not gonna read it again, and however it came out, came out. That's how it was meant to be. I just wanted to say that 
my little cousin was a joy. He was always running around and just laughing and being silly and he was like super quirky and um, he could sing. Oh my God, he could sing so good. And um, he loved wearing suits until he got a little older, of course. Um, I don't know what happened. I'm so sorry he did not get to see his 18th birthday and that he's gone. Um, it's really hard to see young people go before you because they have so much life to live. And I know we're like born to die basically. It's just death is never easy for anyone no matter how old you are. It's just this is so sudden and so shocking teenagers in a car and four of them have passed <laughs> four of them passed away including my cousin and I'm the last I heard the um the other young man was in, in critical condition but I um I feel really like empty like a part of me was just taken but I loved my little cousin Junior. He was great. Um, There's so many funny things he used to do as a kid, and you'll see in the pictures how he, you know, grew along the way. And um, he was just a special kid. He would, <laughs> he would be so forgetful. He'd go to the store, and I'd tell him to give me some change. I, I'd tell him I would give him some change, and he would focus only on the stuff that he wanted. <laughs> And he would forget the stuff that I asked him to get. But he was always so kind and forgetful. <laughs> and he'd go back and just, he would just be like a kid, just like so off task. But he was just always like, oh, I'm sorry. And, you know, basically bringing me like a rock creek when I asked for a Diet Coke or something. So that was Junior. <laughs> and he was just himself. And I, just saw a post from him where he said, I love you, um, when I went out to D.C. Unfortunately, I didn't see it at the time because I wasn't um, on there after I posted the picture. But I find that as a sign that my little cousin let me know before it was too late that he loved me. Just want to say I love you, Junior. Like, you will always be in my heart. You have made my life better because I've known you and may you rest in paradise and I hope that I will see you again in the future and just know that you will be missed and that I know you'll be watching over me and the family. So, <sighs> thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Just wanna ask you guys to go ahead and thumbs up the video. Please comment if you have any family members that you've lost or you've you know felt like it was unfair because their life was taken too soon. Or if you just wanna vent about something and just talk about like your whole experience, that'd be great. This always is a cathartic moment for me and I appreciate you all going on the journey of my life as I continue to grow and become the woman that I dream myself to be. As I go through, this is making me appreciate life a little bit more and hopefully allow me to be able to continue my work of mentoring and inspiring and just being the real me. So with that said, I love you guys. Um, as always, thank you. Rest in peace, Junior. I love you.